懸命な体調処刑にはすでに判断がついていることと思うが俗軍の正体は。I love how this episode ended with Mayuri stating the obvious to all the captains. He was like, as I'm sure you guys have figured it out, who we are fighting in the. What's the army's name? The Wanden Rake is the Quincy's. I love that moment. And I love, you know, at the end of the day, I love how, as a viewer, All the hints pointed to these people being Quincy's, right? And I think we all figured that out pretty much from the moment episode one kind of introduced the enemy. And I worry on how, how much Ishida is going to be involved in the future, right? Like, are they going to try and recruit Ishida and his dad? You know, when is that going to happen? How's it going to happen? We know that this fight specifically to h u e c o m u n d o that he stayed back because they are Quincy, so he doesn't want to align with, you know, the hollows that they have been giving their lives to kill their, you know, basically like their whole entire existence, which is completely cool. But then that leads into the fact that. Now we have these people in this Wandenreich army, right? And I love how they're very German. Like, they, they, the way that they have their ranking system and everything, even the guy that they, like, Stern Ritter J, you know, even this guy, you know, I love how they're very, like, like they're, they're very much operating in, like, that 1920s to 1940s German type regime.、Uh, very interesting that they did that, by the way. But now we have these folks here who are. Going and controlling h u e c o Mundo. They are recruiting a r a n k a r and they are hooking up the a r a n k a r with Quincy type powers. And the two people that, that died early on in this episode,、uh, I, I don't think I wrote down their names, but the one that I think Earl or, or, or Ersted or something like that, but the guy who attacked Ichigo in the first episode, and then the other guy whose name was Ludus, I think his name was. They both got killed by the leader. And we found out that they were both a r a n k a r So, what's significant about that is Ichigo, during his fight, called him out. He's like, Oh, you're in a r a n k a r And he was like, How dare you? Blah, 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 blah. We find out that, yeah, that was the case that he was. So, what kind of powers do these people have to erase memories, overwrite memories, overwrite existence? Why were they thinking that they weren't a r a n k a r when they were? Is it because of this access to like these Quincy type powers? Like, very confusing stuff. And I'm sure it's going to be answered as the season、uh, kind of unfolds. But, you know, that was one of the things I found very, very interesting was like, okay, what kind of powers do they have? And then throughout the rest of the episode, they named that they've been using a, a flame called the Flame of the Condensed. It's a Flame of Condensed Rishi, right? And they've been using that.、Um, so, a lot of different、uh, things that we found out. And at the end of the episode two, we see Ichigo coming, to, coming upon the,、uh, the girls who were the, the, tres, the tres bestia, the tres bestia.、Uh, and they got completely obliterated by this stern Ritter J guy,、uh, somehow, some way, right? So this rebel army is very, 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 very powerful. But very interesting stuff so far. Like, I'm, I'm interested in what are they trying to accomplish? Are they, it looks like they're trying to, like, Disintegrate and get rid of Soul Society, and they're trying to get rid of Hueco Mundo. So it's like, well, if these go, then you have soul imbalances. So, it, it, like, what they're trying to accomplish, like, I'm just really wondering what's their ultimate goal. That in mind, we don't know yet, but we know that we're going to get there. So, let's talk about what we got this episode and kind of what ended up happening. So, we saw that, you know, the beginning episode, the henchmen get effed up, right? They get eliminated. We find out that the top guy at the top, the top brass,、uh, no longer has any use for them.、Uh, we then see that the、uh, Reaper, the Soul Reaper that was、uh, assigned to uh, the uh, Kuro Kuro town, right? He gets a phone call. And by the way, I love how they get phone calls on、uh, flip phones, right? Very much 
10, 15 years ago, you know, that's when Bleach started, right? I think Bleach started in 2004, 2005, something like that. So this, you know, this anime started, you know, roughly 18 years ago, something crazy like that. And that's when flip phones and everything was very dominant during this time before smartphones. So I love how they are still having a homage to that. And they haven't upgraded people to iPhones and stuff. I love, I love that. But he gets a call, and we find out that everybody died, you know, that there was a, an invasion, that the Wandenreich army invaded uh, the Soul Society somehow. There was 116 people that were killed, and then we see that uh, Sasaki, Sasa, I always F up this guy's name, but Sasaki Bay, uh, the captain's lieutenant, right, the, our, the main old dude's lieutenant, we find out that, that he died. Uh, and I can't wait till Captain loses his mind because you know, old dude, he's mad at this point because he has strong memories of uh, of his lieutenant, right? He's always been second in command, you know, awesome dude, you know. And uh, our team, you know, Ichigo and team is down and out because of the information that they found out. Uh, Ichigo decides to go on his you know normal routes, you know, just checking on everything, and then Nell, uh, she ends up falling out the sky. We learn about all this stuff that's going on in. Uh, Hueco Mundo. Uh, then we see a really awesome and funny scene. Mr. Uehara comes onto the scene, and he was. I like how he hit us with the with the reality, and then try to pull it back. He was like, because uh, Ichigo was like, "How would you know when to come?" And he was like, "Oh, I was just waiting outside your window for the perfect opportunity." I was like, "That's hella funny." Uh, then we see the Stern Ritter guy, you know, in Hueco Mundo. We see the the Stern Ritter guy, and they they basically obliterated a bunch of Arankar and Hollows, and they're basically pulling in people who they deem worthy. Uh, then we see the the Tress Bestia. Uh, we see, you know, uh, Nell and Ichigo. Uh, I love the relationship. You know, their their banter back and forth is some of the best banter ever. It is very much bo- like old school Bulma and and Goku banter. Uh, I love Nell and I love uh, Ichigo's relationship. Uh, then they stumble, stumble upon the Rebel, Rebel Army guys. Uh, we see the Tress Bestia. They got destroyed somehow. I'm sure we'll find out next episode. And then Ichigo's got to go put this Stern Ritter guy in his place. Because uh, he can obviously ba- break through their control barriers that they have. Even the uh, Bankai absorption shit that they had last week. But wow, like awesome episode. You know, an army of Quincy's. What are they trying to accomplish? What is the top brass trying to accomplish? We know he's incredibly strong. Because not only could he hold his best with some people in Soul Society, but he held his best with uh, the leader of Hueco Mundo, which is, uh, what's her name? Hannibal. Uh, so we know that he held his best with Hannibal, and he destroyed her essentially. Now she's being held captive. So what is he trying to accomplish, and how strong is he? Like, how strong are these Quincy's, and how do they remain unknown for so long? So. A lot of questions. This episode was definitely a set dressing episode. What I mean by that is it's setting up what's coming next. Not a whole lot happened besides informational stuff, you know, with Lady Hellabel and, uh, and, and you know, uh, Sasaki Bay dying and everything like that. So very interesting. I can't wait to see more. But let me know what you guys thought about this episode down in the comments below. Let me know what you think about Sasaki Bay's death. Let me know what you think about Lady Hellebel be or Hellebel being captured. Let me know what you think about the the Quincy guy at the top just destroying his men. Uh, and let me know what you think about the Wandenreich, the German type Quincy army uh, that has now invaded uh, Hueco Mundo. So let me know what you guys think about all that in the comments below. And I appreciate you guys being here for another week of Bleach Thousand Year Blood War. And I'll see you guys next Monday. Peace, my friends.